Yes, hello you wonderful people here on NFTV. We have another transfer rumor video slash maybe something in motion. Yes, hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. I am literally just finished work just on Scotty Road, heading Yem, and I thought I'll pull over that, quickly get a video out so I can edit this back Yem. So, um, yeah, Sesco, do you know much about the Slovenia kid that we've been linked to? Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about him because he's an absolute giant of a young man. Now, he plays for Salzburg who have produced, well, we all know they've produced quality talent through the years. Look at Stadia Mane, look at Erlen Haaland, world-class talent. Now, I'm not saying Sesco is going to go on to be a world-class talent. He's been loaned out for the last couple of years, in particular last season, when he was loaned out. When I say last season, the season before the last. Because uh, now, technically, it's a new season, pre-season, isn't it? But anyways, he scored over 20 odd goals in the second division in Austria, which is really, really good for a young lad, teenager. And that he scored um, in all competitions for Salzburg last season, 10 goals. Now, he wasn't an out and out regular. He, there were some games where he'll come off the bench and some games he'll start. So he's more of a rotated player. But being really young, he's already got, what, 12, 13 caps for Slovenia, a couple of goals for them. So he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a prospect. Now, the... The speculation heightened because his agency, or his agent rather, was pictured when we had a heat, heat wave at Newcastle a day or two ago, down on the quayside, and he was at, um, what do you call him, Gino De Campo, whatever he's called, the, the chef, the chef from ITV. He was at his restaurant on the quayside, and he was pictured, and obviously that's heightened, and obviously the Chronicle picked it up this morning as well. Look, we're in the market for a striker, we need a striker, the striker who comes in will either have to be a higher calibre than Callum Wilson, but that's going to cost a lot of money, or someone who's happy to come to a Premier League side and sit on the bench and be rotated. Similar to what he is now, but he's a bigger club. So we're not buying for now, we're buying for the future, really. And how much money is it going to take to get this lad to sign uh, on the dotted line? How much does Salzburg want for a prospect? You're probably talking, what, 20 million, 30 million? You know, is he, is he the real deal? Is it what Newcastle need right now? Callum Wilson gets injured again, which is highly likely. Can he ask Chris Wood to score the goals? I'm doubtful, doubtful, I'll be honest with you. So we do need another striker. If we get him in, um, you know, I'm not going to slate him, but you've got to give him time, of course. But it's a, it's a, it's a lot for a young lad if we were to get this this lad to come in, Sesco. And look, I didn't know much, too much about him. Uh, I'm an expert Austri Austrian football. Of course I am. Oh, of course I'm not. And I said I am there, but... We'll see. Maybe it's just another transfer rumour. Who knows? I want to know what you think on that because we do need a striker in desperately. Uh, I, I've seen a couple of people on social media. I get a little bit panicky that we haven't signed anyone forward yet. Just, just, just take your time. Take your time. We've still got until you know plenty of time. We've still got another five, six weeks before the window closes. Plenty of time, man. Loads of time. But interestingly, some movement and it seems to be um, happened this evening, early this evening. That Dwight Gale is potentially on his way now i did a video last night if you haven't seen that go check it out where eddie howe said that dwight gale is literally there's no feature for him anymore and they need to go out and play and it looks like he could be going to stoke city now if dwight gale joins any championship side he'll score goals even if even if he is 33 he will and stoke will be in the higher end of the of the table because of his goals he's guaranteed goals at that level so Stoke will be in, in amongst the automatic or even playoffs just by having a fit Dwight Gale. If that is the case, if he's fit all season, he'll score your 20-odd goals without a shadow of a doubt. And that'll be a good move for them, whether it's a free, which probably we're not going to get too much money. I can't see Stoke going crazy. It looks like it could be a free. Or maybe it's a loan. We've seen Jeff Hendrick and Keewan Clark head out and loan to championship clubs. This one could be that. The speculation that it's a free one. It could be a loan. Uh, will Newcastle pay, pay towards his wages? If he's on 50k and so on down Stoke, you'll probably say so. Newcastle are probably going to chip in for for these wages uh, to help Newcastle reduce the wage cost, even if they are chipping in. So it's an interesting one of Dwight Gale. We'll have to see how that develops. But look, we are now. He's Eddie Howe said it officially. You need to move for his own benefit, for his own career in the twilight of his years now. But yeah, so Dwight Gale looks like potentially could be heading out to Championship side. He obviously was linked to Middlesbrough for a long time. Probably wouldn't need to relocate to Middlesbrough because you can just drive and it takes under an hour to get down to Borough. So I think the Stoke one looks like it's had more legs. The Telegraph are the ones who um, start the story off. So we'll have to wait and see. But interesting, I want to know what you think on Gale. I want to know what you think on Sesco as well. Do you know much about this kid? Uh, please let me know if you do. Please let me know. Cheers for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.